Hello everybody and today we'll be tearing this A0119N rear wheel camera down So let's get started So first I will be unboxing this Take the camera out Just some back cover Some cables Mounting screws A manual Which with which we all know which we all know that we don't need this and into the trash it goes anyway here's the camera itself and I need to get and to grab my screwdriver kit so first off so first off to tear this backup camera down I will need to Unscrew this first, which I may or may not do. Hold on, need to get the right screw size. All right, so so I have to unscrew this. This is a Torx 15 screw size. <laughs> All right, so that's one bit out of the way. And there are no screws, and there's no screws anywhere, so so I have to use my flat screwdriver and pry it, and actually not, and, as, and actually not injure myself in the process, cause well, the screwdriver just tap into my finger, and it just bleeds out, but it's fine now, so. Anyway, so we see some some kind of, some kind of epoxy compound, and with this, I have no choice but to actually pry it out, like so. It may or may not leave a mess, so <laughs> I need to pry it under this thing here. And I will try my best to not step in, in the circuitry in the process. I need one, one the screw screw head be right back. It reviews some kind of circuitry down there. If we can focus, there we go. You see some silver or lead thing. Circuit traces, that kind of stuff. Ooh, this epoxy compound re re really left a mess. There we go. But I still need to um pry more into this. I can see some kind of Atmel chip. There we go. And I just pry out the lens. 
<laughs> so this is so this is the lens unit. If we can focus, hold on. There we go. So this is the lens unit itself, which I could pry out, but it's really stuck down there with like hot glues. Yeah, you could pry out the this whole unit attached with the lens successfully. I have done that before, but I really don't know about this unit. And as you can see, there's a little CMOS sensor in there or something. I don't know. There's also some chip. And you can see some kind of Atmel chip. It's in, if we can focus, AT24 something something because this LC screen is not that good. AT24C0A. Wait. That's not. AT. It's an Atmel chip, right? But why it has the prefix 24C? Ain't it like a flash chip or something? Oh, yeah, this thing right here is an EEPROM thing, whatever it is. A common 24C series EEPROM. But that's. But that EEPROM aside, there is. A crystal oscillator, which, which is a 27 megahertz crystal oscillators. Also have one K, one K resistor, some capacitors, and not some small capacitors, VO, ground, and 3.3 volt in. I think converting from converted from this regulator block, whatever that is. But and this is the CCD or CMOS. I think it's CMOS. Because there's no supporting components beside whatever passive component on this. But anyway, there's also three un three uns unsoldered but mark connector. It says that it's O M M N F. O M F. As you can see, and my suspicion for that is the M is for mirror, F F is for flip, and O is for overlay, maybe. Because in because I have I have this camera before. I also bought this camera before, and it says that you can disable Kutongu the mirror, the flip, and the um, and the um, guiding lines, but. It turns out you can disable it. So I think this is what these connections are for. Because it's mentioned in the manual, but you have no way to disable it unless you tore this, tore this down like like what I do currently. And there's also a zero ohm link. Huh. But anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching.